Today, we're going to learn about the different attitudes and values of scientists. Science came from the Latin word scientia, which means knowledge. It explains how and why things happen. The events or phenomena are explained to us by science based on facts and not by opinions. The invention of technology supports the underlying principles studied, developed, and applied by the scientists to prove everything that is happening around us. Science deals with physical and chemical sciences. Physical science deals with the study of matter and energy, while chemical science deals with the structure, composition, and properties of matter. We all know that things or events that are happening around us are explained to us by science based on facts and not by opinions. A fact is a statement that can be proven or checked, while an opinion is a statement that tells what a person thinks, feels, or believes and cannot be proven. Let us begin our lesson by identifying statements, whether they are facts or opinions. You are given 5 seconds to comment down below your answers. Take a look at these pictures and try to analyze each statement. Earthworms have five hearts. Is it a fact or an opinion? The scariest crawling animal is an earthworm. Is it a fact or an opinion? The smallest bones in humans are the ear bones. Is it a fact or an opinion? Ice cream contains all three states of matter, gas, solid, and liquid. Is it a fact or an opinion? This is the last statement. Strawberry ice cream tastes better than chocolate ice cream. Is it a fact or an opinion? Have you ever wondered how light bulb came into existence? Who invented the light bulb? Now that you have learned how to distinguish between facts and opinions, then you might be the next Thomas Edison. Scientists such as Thomas Edison, Galileo Galilei, and Alexander Graham Bell are experts in the field of studying science. Scientists became famous because of their knowledge and behavior in learning and doing things. They invented many things that brought about great contributions to human beings and the environment. What do we call these scientists who study about humans? How about those who study about the animals? What about those who study about plants? Can you name some of the attitudes and values they possess in order to succeed and become famous 
until this time. Look at the pictures and identify the attitudes being displayed by the kids. Scientists are like kids in the pictures. They display curiosity. They are curious of the things they see around. They observe, ask questions, and discover new things in order to find solutions to existing events or phenomena. They also display creativity. They come up with inventive ways to solve problems or produce something new that are necessary to the environment. Curiosity and creativity are just some of the attitudes evident to scientists. Can you think of other scientific attitudes and values the scientists possess? Scientists are modest and unassuming. They are humble in admitting errors in an experiment or investigation. They are also persistent in their inventions or experiments. They are firm and confident that they can have their inventions work. Scientists never give up. They are also determined to finish their inventions or experiments, although there is no guarantee that all their investigations will be successful. They are open-minded individuals. They listen to other ideas. They look into other possibilities by asking questions before coming up with accurate conclusions. Lastly, scientists give or announce truthful reports of observations and experimental results. So kids, which among these attitudes and values do you possess? To end this video, here's a recap of our lesson for today. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to keep you guys updated.